good morning. Today is Saturday. It is December now. I still need to move my calendar over. I forgot to flip my calendar to December. Um, where is the time going? It is flying away so quickly. I love the holidays, but geez louise, it's just, it happens so fast. I feel like once you have Halloween, then time just goes real fast. You've got Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's, and then it's a new year. And 2017 sounds like super far in the future. It's actually gonna be my 10 year anniversary of um, like graduating college. Ah! <laughs> so <laughs> I graduated college in 2007, and now it's gonna be 2017. It's gonna be 10 years. Oh my God, what's happening? Anyway, so um, this past week was busy as usual. Work is just pretty busy. We've got a new person on, which is great. Uh, so a lot of training and stuff like that and um, yeah I had a dentist appointment this week for cleaning and my teeth are getting a lot better now that I've had those two deep cleanings um, back in October I think I had those two deep cleanings they do half of the mouth at a time so my teeth are getting better which is cool um, yeah yeah um, just a lot, a lot going on at work. I'm planning to work during the holidays. Um, I love to work actually during the holidays, like between the time we get off for Christmas and New Year's because I can get so much done at work. I don't have interruptions. I don't have people stopping by my office, which is a big cause of interruptions or emails or phone calls. So I always work during the holidays um, typically and I'm doing it again this year. So yay, but we do get like paid days off. We get um, two days off around Christmas and two days around New Year. So I'll still have some holidays. <laughs> Anyways, um, today is Saturday, and I feel like I haven't been doing as much like exposure type of activities. Hi, Fig. So even though last weekend like was kind of difficult because I drove to my mom's house, Andy came over and met my parents, I went and met his parents. You know, I feel like there was some stuff, but I really need to like stay on the bandwagon, so to speak, with like doing exposure and uncomfortable things that I hate. <laughs> um, it's hard to have the energy and desire to do that, to be quite honest, after being busy at work all week. Like, you, there's no desire to be uncomfortable and like anxious and panicky. You just, you just want an easy weekend. Anyway, so today I was thinking I'd pick up Andy at his apartment. He's close to downtown and then we could go drive in my car. So I'll drive us to Say Cheese, that cheese shop that I like that's downtown. And we could look at pastries, get sandwiches for lunch, and maybe if we want, walk down to the farmer's market, which is like two blocks down, and I could maybe get more orange juice and look to see if Peacock Family Farms has their chocolate-covered raisins <laughs> that I want. They weren't at the farmer's market last weekend because it was rainy last week on Saturday, so I kind of want to get some of their chocolate-covered raisins. Hello, it is Saturday afternoon, and I just recently got back from heading downtown. So I picked up Andy at his apartment, and we went to uh, actually not too many places, but we parked nearby Say Cheese walked down to the excuse me the farmer's market we got some orange juice and chocolate covered raisins yay so peacock family farms was at this week's farmer's market they actually said that this is the first week they've started carrying the chocolate raisins which means that last week they didn't have them even though they weren't at the market anyway so anyways we got that we went to say cheese got some pastries we didn't end up getting lunch there we went somewhere else and then I went to Whole Foods and just picked up a few little things, some yogurt and apples. So I'll just show you what everything looks like right here. Okay, we've got another big thing of this orange juice and it's um, $10 for a this size, which is a pretty big size and it lasts more than a week for me and it's very sweet. I like this orange juice. And here are the chocolate covered raisins. I think they're kind of pricey. They're $5.50 for this bag, but I guess that's just how it is when you, um, you know, you go to the farmer's market and buy it directly from them. So they have their own raisins and they sell a bunch of different types of raisins and I actually have some here and I think I've shown them in a past vlog, but they only have this during the winter. They don't sell it like at other times of the year. So um, I might actually get a bag for my mom or sh share part of this bag with her because she said she wants some too. So that's from the farmer's market and then at Whole Foods, I actually got four of these. I only pulled two out of the fridge, but this is that brown cow yogurt that I like a lot. And they have new packaging, which threw me off. I thought that they stopped carrying it at Whole Foods, but it was right there with new packaging. And this is that cherry vanilla that I like. 
And then for apples, I got two of the Honeycrisp, which is good. It's pretty sweet. I like Honeycrisp and Pink Lady usually. And they have a lot of apples right now. And then this other type of apple, a Jonah Gold, I thought that'd be neat to try. And eventually I do want to buy a bunch of apples and make a um, apple pie using my cute new dish that um, we got at Anthropology. So I do want to make an apple pie. So anyways, we'll see how those apples are. And then, um, oh, these dots are from Andy. At Say Cheese, we just got a bunch of pastries. Andy's never been there, so I'm hoping that he'll really like them. So this is what we have. Two of the Queen Amon. These are the ones that are spelled funny. It's spelled K-O-U-G-I-N space A-M-O-N. And you say it, Queen Amon. And those are really good. I haven't had one in so long. We got a pumpkin whoopie pie. A... Uh, brownie it's like a salted caramel brownie and it does have that layer of caramel that will sometimes ooze out and then two cookies a chocolate chip cookie and then a peanut butter one so we're gonna split things and probably eat this over the course of today and tomorrow because it is kind of a lot so yeah so that's what we did and I think we might watch some Westworld right now we still need to catch up on this week's episode and then the season finale is coming up this weekend it's supposed to be a long one so that show is just blazing right by and it's it's really good too we've been enjoying it so all right i guess that's all for now bye good morning um i just wanted to show how fig likes to hang out on me he um well support his back leg but he just loves chilling out on my shoulder and um He's purring and kind of snorting and making all kinds of noises. So he just has a good time with this. His little tail is going. And um, sometimes I'll support his like legs, sometimes I won't. He just likes looking around and seeing everything that's um, from this point of view. So uh, I think he has a good time with this. <laughs> and um, sometimes he'll just race up my back and jump up and sit on my shoulder. Other times like I'll lean down to pet him and he'll jump up. So. Um, Fig started doing this maybe a few weeks ago. Yeah, sometimes in the morning eating breakfast, he'll jump up and sit on my shoulder while I eat. And I try not to eat any cat fur <laughs> with my breakfast. And um, today he just wanted a lot of pets while I was brushing my teeth. So I was like, all right, after I brush my teeth, I'm gonna pick you up and stick you on my shoulder and then you can have a good time. Um, so he's looking out the window right now, but Generally, he, he likes it quite a lot to sit on my shoulder and see this uh, point of view. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that because I actually, I don't think I've filmed it before when he's hanging out on my shoulder. Hello, good morning. Today is Sunday. So just earlier this morning, I showed you Figaro sitting on my shoulder while I was still in my pajamas <laughs> before I took a shower and got ready. So now I'm going to head out. I have got so many like different like errands and cleaning and stuff to do today. I need to go out to Trader Joe's, get groceries. Andy's birthday is this Wednesday. It's Wednesday, um, December 7th. So I'm going to make dinner for him. So I wanted to get some groceries for that. Um, I need to go to Michael's. That's related to a present for him. And I guess that's it for the outside errands. Then I need to come home and clean and do laundry and all those kinds of weekend tasks. So I've got a bunch of stuff to do today. We did work on the ugly sweater cookie kit yesterday. <clears throat> so they have pre-baked cookies, vanilla and chocolate cookies, and then three tubes of icing that were not very easy to spread. And then some sprinkles, um, yeah, I actually didn't have that much fun. I thought I'd love it, but I was kind of like, this is really hard. I did save one cookie. The other ones I just tossed. This is S Heart F. It's Stitch and Fig. And then it has some little me meow meow whiskers at the bottom. So that's one of the cookies that I made and actually kept. So we did that yesterday. Hello, I just got back from running a few different errands, including Trader Joe's. So I thought I'd show you what I got there. You'll see there's some holiday items. The Jingle Jangle as well as the eggnog, mistletoe, and then this thing, the dark chocolate gingerbread caramel cookie bar. What? 
Um, so we've got a few Christmassy items there. Um, I do have some meals to cook for Andy's birthday this week. He likes taco salad, so I got the taco mix, the beef, the onions, sour cream, and avocados to make the, um, oh, as well as the chips, actually, to make the taco salad. And then he also really likes pigs in a blanket, which I've never made, so, um, I got some hot dogs, these Applegate hot dogs. I just, I like Applegate. I get their <laughs> turkey for my sandwiches, so I thought it'd be a good safe brand for hot dogs because I never buy hot dogs. So I'm gonna do like a pigs in the blanket as appetizer and the taco salad for the dinner. And I just needed more stuff for my sandwiches at lunch, mozzarella and turkey, some bananas. I've definitely been trying to eat more fruit recently. Get back to that. And, um, oh, the tomato sauce is actually to go with the uh, taco salad. More oatmeal, my usual. And uh, I guess that's about it. Eggnog is something I definitely don't like personally, but I saw it in the Fearless Flyer that just came out, which was really fun. Let me look at it, actually. Here's the Fearless Flyer. The Christmas one, oh my gosh, it has so much neat stuff in there. And I know Andy said he likes eggnog, so that's for him. I actually was thinking of giving this cookie bar to him. And then the mistletoe, hee <laughs> hee. I'm just gonna stick this up somewhere in my apartment. It would be a cute little bit of decoration. So that's what I got at Trader Joe's. I also got some items at Albertsons. I usually don't show when I get stuff at Albertsons because it tends to like be soda or bread and boring stuff. But today I thought this was kind of neat. Um, this is going to be a present for Andy, <laughs> which sounds weird. But he's mentioned wanting to make candy sushi. And candy sushi is when you just have like Rice Krispie treats, which you use the Rice Krispies and the marshmallow for, as well as I think butter and some other stuff. And then you can do, I think, I think you put the Swedish fish on top, like you cut out little pieces of the, of the Rice Krispie tree and you put the Swedish fish on top and then you can wrap it up with fruit by the foot or sometimes like sour wraps, like those sour fruit long things. I don't know, so this is gonna be for his birthday. I'm just gonna put it in like a bag and then be like, ta-da, we're gonna make candy sushi. And then for his birthday cake, um, I'm not actually sure if I wanna use these, like the cake, it depends kind of what the cake ends up looking like. If it's a really cute, then I'll just use normal candles. I might use these. Anyways, he's younger than me. He is turning 27 and I am 31, so he's um, four and a half years younger than me. And the crescent rolls are for the pigs in a blanket thing he likes. And then I just got this so that when I'm ready to finally make those, <laughs> you know, the, um, what was I saying? The apple pie using my new dish. I'm gonna have the crust ready. So yeah, I don't go to Albertsons a whole ton, so I thought, well, I'll just get some pie crust while I'm there. I just wanted to quickly share the uh, print that I ordered from Etsy and the frame that I picked up at Michael's today. And um, yeah, so I brought this print with me to Michael's and then found a frame. This is like kind of a bluish gray, but it does have a bit more blue in it. Um, it's kind of similar to those colors, not quite as bright as that. Anyways, um, I saw this online and thought Andy would like it, especially because we've seen this short before, the I Lava You one. And um, I thought it'd be really cute. So I need to work on wrapping some of his birthday presents uh, before he comes over today. And I don't think we have any dinner plans. Um, not much going on this evening. It's definitely been a busier day with like he's doing his golfing and I've been doing other stuff around my apartment and I need to send out Christmas cards because I just got my first Christmas card in the mail. Oh, so I'm not ready for that. <laughs> I pulled out some Christmas cards and was like, oh my God, <laughs> I need to send a few out. I don't send many out, just a handful, but um, now I feel like I need to get up on that because it's the first weekend of December and someone already sent me one. All right, bye-bye. So I just got my new tree skirt from Target. That's a Target box. And I wanted to share it with you quickly. Finally have a tree skirt. I've had this tree for, this is gonna be the third year now, and I never had an actual tree skirt. I got this from Target. It's a kind of white cream color, and it has this glitter. I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick up on it, but there's this kind of like silver glitter 
that reflects off of it. And then it has these little pom-poms, which I thought was really fun. However, the cats already tore one off and started playing with it. So I don't know how long these pom-poms will last. So I'm gonna show it to you while it looks decent. And then on the other side, it kind of has this felt. So it's actually kind of like a thick. So it's a nice thick tree skirt. And Fig is exploring it. He's like, what is this new? item and can I eat it basically <laughs> so yay now I have um, a proper tree skirt maybe next year I'll actually like buy some ornaments and um, a tree topper at some point so it looks a little bit better hello today is Wednesday the 7th today's Andy's birthday <laughs> so very exciting I worked a half day so I worked until noon and then ran some errands and um I just finished up eating my lunch. It's a uh, quarter till two. Anyways, I just wanted to show you the items I picked up for him while I was out and about today and I'm very excited. I need to start decorating and get stuff going and then he'll come over. He took the entire day off work so he's just been home today and um, I think doing some other errands and stuff himself. So let's see. Oh, this is the beautiful six inch cake. Um, I specified all of the details, so on the inside we have chocolate cake, they have a filling that's like kind of halfway in there, and the filling has chocolate chip cookie dough and peanut butter mousse, so it has two items. The icing is vanilla bean buttercream, and for decorations, I asked for mini cookie dough balls. <laughs> they probably look a little weird, but that's okay, they're mini cookie dough balls and he's gonna love it. And I also got some regular size cookie dough balls for him while I was there picking this cake up today. So there's the regular size and there's the mini. <laughs> and then I got him one of his favorite cookies which is this, um, just a large cookie. So it's two cookies filled with this cream in the middle half dipped in chocolate. So this is gonna be his surprise cake also tonight. I went to this place called I think Glenda's Party Cove today and got some decorations so I can decorate my apartment. I've got a little crown um, so he can wear a birthday crown. This banner, it's kind of a little bit ugly and boring but they didn't have anything else. I actually, hang on, um, I had planned to go to Michael's today to get uh, decorations there because they have better prices and discounts and coupons. However, the Michael's um, in town is closed because all their machines are down. And I called them before I was leaving work today and they said, we're still closed, no idea when we'll be open. So that's part of the reason why I went to Glenda's Party Cove, <laughs> this independent place that's <clears throat> at a very busy shopping center um, instead of going to Michael's. But I'm happy with what I got and I think he'll like it. So uh, the other items, you can kind of see a theme emerging. I kind of did this like Mario Kart theme. Um, I think I actually still have some Hello Kitty plates and napkins because for Mackenzie's birthday I've done similar things like with decorations and plates and napkins and of course I used to always get her balloons when they lived here but now they moved away so they don't get all the birthday stuff like Mackenzie used to get um so yeah Andy I've got him Mario Kart little plate and napkin we can use that for the dessert for the birthday cake and then for decorations that's what the rest of the stuff is it's just some uh blue and green fluffy decorations as it's described and then still keeping with that mario theme <clears throat> excuse me we have these tabletop things which i don't i don't really get exactly what you do with it but i think you just put it on top of a table and it offers decorations <laughs> And then these, which I can hang from the ceiling, which I'm looking forward to. These little swirly things, you just like hang them from the ceiling and you have little bits of decoration. So yeah, we've got a couple different things here and it's just gonna be Andy and me at my apartment alone, which is what he wanted. So I'll just be hanging this stuff up around my apartment and I need to get decorating and uh, do a few other things and then I'll be ready for him to come over and to celebrate his oh birthday. Oh no, the birthday banner. Dang it. Nothing is staying up. Damn, fucker. All right, here's the uh, birthday decorations as they presently stand before something else falls down. I've had a, a challenge. The birthday banner likes to fall down. The one blue one on the top right likes to fall down. So I did these little puffy things and I had no idea how long they take to puff up. Um, so that's why I only did the blue set. I still have the green set that I don't 
think I'm going to use. I think I'll return it. So I did these little three blue puffball things. And these are the tabletop decorations. This was actually a little bit harder to put together than I expected. I don't know. I, whoop, the birthday banner's coming down, huh? Another toy for you to play with, Stitch. <laughs> he tore one of these things down earlier. We're just, we're having a difficult time right now. Um, yeah, this was a little harder to put together than I would expected. This little um, Mario Kart table topper, some little decorations and stuff. Stitch is very interested. He pulled one of these down and played with it. And then, uh, like I said, he tore one of those little spirally things down. The birthday banner, I'll get back to you. And then I've got a bunch of these hangy things <laughs> throughout the apartment. Just these spiral things you tape to the ceiling and then they have little Mario characters on them. I've got some presents for him over there. And I guess that's about it. Um, yeah, so let me go fix the happy birthday banner. I'll have to like super glue it to the wall or something. <laughs> Hello, today is Thursday evening. Um, I just wanted to update you about how Andy's birthday went yesterday. It went very well. He really loved all the decorations and was super surprised. And he said nobody's like done that for him before. So he's never had like, you know, kind of decorations and stuff, I guess, um, from people. So anyways, he was really excited about the decorations. Um, a lot of them fell down. I actually only have one of the little hanging guys left. This is the one that's still up. Like the next day, all of the other characters fell and Andy actually took them home with him. So yeah, that one stayed up. And then we've got the, um, the blue puff balls. Hopefully you can see that okay. And one of them actually did fall down, so I put it over here this morning because I woke up and there it was. Yeah, so uh, some of the decorations did fall down, but that's okay. We just went with it. Um, I gave him his presents, made the dinner. He really likes the um, pigs in a blanket. I'm not such a fan of it myself, but the taco salad was good. I like that, and he's got leftovers, so he has all kinds of goodies he went home with. <laughs> the croissants all and leftover dinner and um i actually held on to the cake for an extra day because i wanted to um film it and show you guys what it looks like from the inside so previously i showed you the outside of the cake but i think it's worthy of seeing the inside as well side Here's the inside of the cake that I had ordered. It's the six inch cake. So for the actual cake, I asked for chocolate. On the inside, I asked for one layer of a peanut butter mousse, which is right there, and one layer of a chocolate chip cookie dough, which is right there. On the outside, I asked for vanilla bean icing, and then they have the caramel drizzle, and of course, the mini chocolate chip cookie dough balls on the top too. So it's got a lot going on there. Um, with the peanut butter, cookie dough, cookie dough on top, and um, it's very good and indulgent. So <laughs> Andy and I each had a small slice last night. The slices are really small because the cake's only, you know, six inches in diameter. So it's like, what do you call it, a three inch radius? Anyway, so it's a very uh, short slices of cake, but I also sent him home with some last night. And then um, he, let, he said, you could have another slice too and film it. So... <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to wrap that up. So he had a good birthday, um, and it's, he was very appreciative of everything, which was so sweet. Uh, he's very nice and good to me, so he, he definitely deserves a good birthday. And I think that's it. I'm just gonna wrap this up there and say thank you for watching, and hope you have a good night. Bye.